Hey, what's going on phone dogs? Bo HD here. And for those of you in the States, you might not have heard of Xiaomi. It's a massive Chinese company that I like to refer to as the Apple of China, as they are very well known in China and they make high quality products very similar to Apple's products. The company recently released a series of laptops that take aim at Apple's MacBook. This is the Xiaomi Air 12. And before I get started with the review, I wanna thank GearBest.com for sending this unit out to me from China for review. Now you can purchase the Xiaomi Air 12 from GearBest.com for a little less than $600. However, it's important to note that this device ships with Windows 10 in Chinese. So if you're an English speaker, you're going to need to reinstall Windows 10 in English. The good news is that it's really not very difficult. All you need to do is install Windows via a USB drive uh, and then install all of the drivers there's a very nice forum that walks you through the whole process. It even has links to the drivers. I'm gonna leave that in the description. So let's take a look at the build. The Air 12 is a stunning laptop that is beautifully simple. It features a rigid aluminum build construction and very little curves. It's a little bit boxy, but it's still stylish. The only branding or the only logo on this laptop is the small letters MI underneath the display. Where Apple plasters a logo on the front of the MacBook and other laptops of theirs, Xiaomi decided to keep the front clean so that you can actually plaster whatever stickers or wraps that you'd like. Seriously, they actually advertise that. A neat touch is the ability to lift open the display with one finger. That is a big selling point for me and I'm not really sure why, but I just find it super attractive. In terms of ports, there is a USB Type-C port and a USB 2.0 port on the right-hand side. The left-hand side features a full-sized HDMI port and 3.5mm headphone jack. It would have been really nice to see an SD card slot, but an adapter can add this feature pretty easily. But as the name implies, there is a 12.5-inch Full HD IPS display with very thin bezels. The display is very bright and vivid with very good black colors for an IPS panel. The only major cons are that it can be a little bit glossy and it is not a touchscreen. The trackpad is about average in size. It's not terribly small, but it's also not huge or ginormous like on the MacBook. It's a very comfortable size. It does feature multi-touch so you can pinch to zoom. Uh, the very top of the pad is solid so you cannot click on it like on the MacBook, uh, which features force touch that actually replicates a click even though nothing is physically moving. That is not the case with this trackpad, but this trackpad does perform well. Overall, it feels very well built. It's way better than HP's trackpads, if you've ever had the unfortunate pleasure of experiencing those. Uh, but, you know, it's not quite up to par with Apple's trackpads. The Air 12 is running Windows 10. Since I reinstalled the operating system, I removed all of the bloatware. I mean, there's not a ton of bloatware to begin with, but there is some uh, Xiaomi apps here and there. The cleaner the software, the better, in my opinion. Uh, Windows 10 runs pretty darn well on this machine, but I think it could be a little bit faster. Uh, the Air 12 comes equipped with a modest Intel Core M3-6Y30 processor uh, with 4GB of DDR3 RAM and a 128GB SSD. I think for browsing the web and reading textbooks, the Xiaomi Air 12 will just be perfect for you. I mean, that is what it is designed to do. Uh, but if you expect it to play a lot of graphic intensive games or just any games in general, I'd probably look for something else. Same can be said about 4K video editing. You're going to want to look for something with a little bit more power and probably some more storage as well if, if you're interested in those things. What's neat about the Air 12 is that in addition to the HDMI, full-size USB 2.0 and USB-C ports, it features Bluetooth 4.1 and 802.11 Wi-Fi. So you can study and take notes with this laptop and listen to some music via your favorite pair of wireless headphones and you should be good to go. There is even a one megapixel web camera. Uh, it's not the best, but it's able to record at 720p at 30 frames per second. Uh, for the occasional Skype call, it's totally adequate. One of the most important features of a laptop, in my opinion, is the keyboard. And the keyboard on the Air 12 is one of my favorite features. The keys are very tactile. There's plenty of travel and feedback. My main laptop is the MacBook, and while I have adjusted to the butterfly keys, they're not my favorite. These keys though, they are like clouds in comparison. They're soft and puffy, and they're just a pleasure to use. Uh, when compared to MacBook Pro keys, there's not quite as much travel, but the keys themselves are actually slightly larger, which is nice. The 37 watt hour battery is non-removable, but Xiaomi says it can last about 11.5 hours on a single charge. I'm not really sure what kind of specifications they used to achieve that time uh, because I didn't quite get close to that. In my testing, I was able to get around five to six hours of use per charge. I could easily get more juice out of it if I were to further dim the display and turn off Bluetooth and 
activate energy saver mode and whatnot, but I like to work comfortably and I'm always usually near an outlet. One of my biggest complaints with this laptop is the speakers. Sound appears to be emanating from the center of the laptop near the keyboard and trackpad, uh, which as you can imagine, is not the best place for sound to be coming out of a laptop. I think this is one area where something like the MacBook and MacBook Pro uh, will outperform any day of the week. But this is the Xiaomi Air 12. It's a great laptop for $500 or $600, give or take. I can absolutely recommend this machine for high school or college students who are looking for something portable with plenty of power to run productivity apps like Chrome, PowerPoint, Excel, and Microsoft Word. It also doesn't hurt that this thing is super sexy. Of course, there are some downsides. This is uh, a product from a Chinese company called Xiaomi. So you will need to reinstall the operating system if you're not an English speaker. I would just recommend reinstalling it regardless. So if you're not very tech savvy, I wouldn't recommend this laptop. But if you are interested, I'm gonna leave a link in the description to purchase the laptop via gearbest.com. They are a reputable source. They sent me this laptop in great condition. I have no complaints. And they did not pay us to say that. They just sent us this laptop. Now, it's not every day we review laptops here on Phone Dog, so if you enjoyed this video, I'd appreciate a thumbs up. I'll do my best to answer any questions you might have in the comments. As always, I'm BoHD from PhoneDog.com. I hope you enjoyed this video. Thank you for watching, and I will see you right back here in the next one. See ya.